Hi everyone, I'm going to create a freezer paper transfer with the um, Speedball paint. So I start with Cricut, I grab my design. Um, it's going to be a full front, so it's 7.61 you know, uh, to 8.09. I got my little error message because we live in a place that has horrible internet. Okay, so I go from here. And then what I do is I cut out my freezer paper. And I'm going to put the shiny side down onto my mat. I use a brand new mat for this because if your freezer paper does not sit, that's when it'll bunch up and your cut won't be good. All right, so I'm going to put you on pause for a sec. Okay, so I place my paper on my mat and I rub it down real well. Um, and then what I do is I put my machine to custom settings and I'll show you where we go from here. So I'm going to send it to my machine and then I use custom settings, washi, I'll show you in a second, washi 0 0.06 millimeter. This is what I cut it at. Okay. All right, my machine is loaded and we're going to cut. I love my machine. Okay, now that it cut, it's time to weed. So, I'm going to weed out what I don't want and leave in what I do want. So I need the circle inside the P. Same thing with the G. And there's a little diamond up here. I actually find this to be very therapeutic. And I love the way that my first one came out. This one we're going to put on a black shirt with the white paint. Don't be afraid to do this. Um, I think the reason why this one came out so great is because it's got chunky lines. So I don't need this part of it. I don't need this. I need that. I need that. I need that. Don't need this. I need that. So this part comes out. I know how to line it up on my shirt. I think it's very important that you don't have creases. So we know that that's going to get painted. And there's a little spot over here that I'm going to need. And then it's got little dots inside the, the nostrils. Last night when I did the red, they didn't stay. They stay, it's okay. If they don't, that's fine too. Okay, so this is basically what I'm going to put on the shirt. And I'm going to then heat it down onto the shirt. So now we're ready to go over to the heat press machine.